I'm going to show you how you can use a decentralized exchange or DEX for short to trade futures on. Although I'll be showing you how to trade on Apollo X specifically, the process would be pretty much the same for any other decentralized exchange as well. Now, if you were wondering what the differences are between a centralized exchange and a decentralized exchange, essentially a decentralized exchange is an exchange that doesn't require any personal information and all you need is a wallet to connect to them. They run off of smart contracts, so there's no exact intermediary. The downside of DEXs is that they lack liquidity compared to a centralized exchange and they also are chain specific. A DEX that runs on Binance Smart Chain isn't cross-chain compatible with DYDX which runs on Ethereum for example. Now before I show you how to trade on a DEX I do want to say a few things. The first is that trading futures is risky especially if you don't know what you're doing. When trading on futures you are using your coins as collateral to open a position. This means that there's a risk that if your trade goes against you, you can get liquidated. This means that you end up losing all of your coins or your funds. Now, the second thing is that you will need a few things before you can trade on a DEX. And in this particular case, Apollo X. So the first is a wallet that supports Binance Smart Chain. This could be a wallet like MetaMask or SafePal. For myself, I'll be using a SafePal wallet. The next thing that you'll need is some BNB to pay for gas fees. The third is access to an exchange or platform where you can obtain USDT on Binance smart chains such as Paytree. If you don't have access to Paytree or aren't sure how to obtain BNB or USDT on Binance smart chain, I've made a video on change now showing step by step on how to do coin swaps so you can obtain BNB or USDT on Binance smart chain that you can check out. Once you have BNB though, there are different ways to obtain USDT. A method is with a chain swap service like PancakeSwap. I'll leave links in the video description to help you get started with the wallet and obtaining the BNB and USDT. After you've got your wallet, BNB and USDT, we're ready to go. So right now I'm on Apollo X's trade dashboard. Now we first need to connect our wallet to them. So I'm going to go over here to click on connect wallet and basically you'll see a bunch of different options. Now using the wallet that you created, you'll want to connect that wallet to Apollo X. Select whichever method wallet that you'd like to connect to them. For myself, I'll be using the SafePal wallet. So I'll I'll be clicking on that and when I do it'll present a QR code for me to scan via the SafePal wallet app which is what I'm going to do right now. Alright so I've just connected my wallet to them and what's going to happen is it's going to present a pop-up message asking me to deposit some funds. So for myself I'm going to click on this drop down menu and I'm going to then select USDT. So I'll then enter in the amount let's just say 100 so I'll click on that and then click on deposit and what's going to happen is it's asking me to verify this transaction on my SafePal wallet on my mobile device. So I'm just going to confirm that right now and there you go as you can see over here I've now got my 100 USD or the 100 USDT. So I'm just going to X this out here. So now that I've got my 100 USDT here I'm then going to select which coin I'd like to put a trade on. Now I can do that by going over here and hovering over this and it'll give a drop down menu of the different coins that I can trade but for myself I'm just gonna leave it at this just for simplicity and then the next couple of things that you're gonna want to do is go over here and select cross you're gonna click on this and basically what it's going to ask you is how you would like to collateralize your debt there's cross and isolated so basically for cross it's among all your assets where as isolated it's just in that particular trade or trade pair. So for myself, I'm just going to leave it at cross and then click on confirm. And then the next thing that you'll want to do is click on this button over here where it says 1x. Now your number might be different. So I'm just going to click on this. And basically it's a option for you to adjust your leverage. Now you can use this slider to go all the way up to 200x, which I would highly advise against, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So again, this is where I want to caution you where trading futures gets risky. If you don't know what you're doing, just leave it at 1x. The higher the leverage, the higher the chance that you're going to get liquidated or lose all your funds. Now that said, I'm just going to leave it at 1x and then click on confirm. So to put on a long trade, I would first need to decide whether I'm going to put in a limit, market, or some other type of order. Now let's just say that I'm interested in putting a long on Bitcoin as 
it's 28,000 USDT. So example, I would go over here and enter the price of 28,000 and this is for a limit order. So this means that if the price of Bitcoin goes to 28,000, then I will, and I'm going to select BTC over here. Let's just say I am interested in buying 0.001 BTC and that is about 28 USDT. And this is putting on a long position trade at this price. I like what I see. So I would click on buy slash long. And when I do, you can then see my open orders over here. And that's where it is. Now to put on a short trade or short order, it's the same sort of idea. You'd go to limit and instead of the price being at 28,000, let's just say I want to short it at 29,000 and same sort of thing. I'm going to short 0.001 BTC, which would cost about 29.44 USDT. I like what I see. It's on cross 1x. So I would then click on sell slash short. And so there we go. So I've basically been able to put in my limit orders on Apollo X. And basically, if the price goes to 28,000, I'm longing it. If it goes to 29,000, then I am shorting it. Now to cancel these orders, you can obviously just cancel them by clicking this trash can button over here. So it's canceled and it has also been canceled. So just like with a centralized futures exchange, you can place other types of orders, just like a market or stop limit and all these other types of orders. Now, because the purpose of this video is to just kind of show you how to use a decentralized exchange to trade futures on, I'm not going to be showing you all of that in this video. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.